major thing I did that I want to talk about that I highlighted in the last video was I got a new seat. So I got this Mustang Indian Challenger seat. And uh, so far I've put right at 2,000 miles on this thing. And at first I thought it was a little hard, but after about 600 miles, it started really really being very very comfortable so i can go now i'm only ridden about an hour right now um i can go a full tank of gas no issues it's just very very comfortable so the fit was a little tight so with that metal bottom seat pan there's not a lot of flexibility there so so if you pick one of these up and it gives you a little trouble get it on there you might have to send it back and get it tweaked uh, my manufacturer date on this seat i've had it on this bike since early november like the first week of november um and the manufacturer date on this particular seat that i got is like october like late october so I know there was some issues with the first release. I think they tweaked some stuff and this one went on without any issues. It just, it's a little tight. So you gotta squeeze sit, squeeze on it and push it on there. And then boom, once it clicked in, it just, it's been riding perfectly ever since I've taken it back off. So, so just, uh, you might have to wrestle with it a little bit to get it on there because of that metal seat pan doesn't have any flexibility whatsoever so uh, not like the plastic seat pan that comes with the original challenger seat so just something to keep in mind um, as you're trying to put these bad boys on um, it's just a little tight so it's a little wider just a little bit taller and it looks like it sits me back just a smidgen farther back than the original seat but I don't mind that because I have the backrest I actually went with the backrest option and that backrest is just absolutely amazing so just lay back on it as I'm riding down the road and uh, be able to stretch out a little bit so um, if you're on the fence about getting the backrest if you do some long riding you might want to consider it I'm glad that I went with it. It was definitely more expensive, but you can take the backrest off if you don't want it. You can't put, put it on if you don't have the option. So this is just something to keep in mind. Cut across a couple of lanes of traffic right here. So after a couple thousand miles riding this thing, I'm very pleased with it. So it's an option. I just wish the only thing I regret is that I wish I could have customized it a little bit with some colors or a different pattern but getting ready for this iron butt challenge next year um, I needed something other than the stock seat and uh, I needed to get it broken in so this is working out really really well so that's it that's just a quick overview of the what my opinions are on this uh, Mustang seat. So like and subscribe if you like the content that you see. And just keep keep riding guys. That's it. Smooth bass man. I'm out.